So now in this video, we have an LED that's going to turn on as it gets darker. So the lamp is at the brightest setting, and so it's pretty obvious I picked uh, 15 kilo ohm resistance right there, um, so that we would have this uh, range right here, where as I dim the uh, lamp, the LED gets brighter, and then it's uh, almost definitely on fully at uh, that point right there, as I... Uh, get the lamp brighter the LED uh, fades off until it's off completely it looks off completely it'd be kind of hard to tell um, sometimes there's a reflection that uh, shows up so it looks like it's on when it's actually not so there you can see that uh, if you shade the LED you can tell if it's like a reflection that you're seeing or not um, just thought I'd point that out but uh, in any case this is the uh, basic uh, setup so we have an LED or not an LED a uh, light dependent resistor LDR uh, based voltage divider here so there's only one LDR there's a fixed value resistor and uh, ultimately that's going to set the uh, range of a uh, voltage we got when it comes especially to the uh, lamp the uh, changes of voltages when it comes to the lamp so last video uh, we looked at the voltages of a 1k uh, resistor when it's on the uh, in this case high side could be on the low side instead um, and a 47k here we got 50 k i probably tried different values until i got uh, this effect right here where we uh, dim the lamp and it's probably on fully by that point and then make the lamp brighter and it's probably off fully by that point right there the uh, npn bipolar junction transistor base 2 emitter whether using 2n3904 or other ones and uh, emitter is the left pin which is the bottom there base in the middle collector is the right pin or the pin on top uh, right there and uh, emitter base collector you get uh, it's not going to conduct if there's no base to emitter current right there when the voltage gets to about 0.6 volts approximately right there then or higher then current's going to start uh, flowing from uh, base to emitter right there and it's going to allow many times the current to flow from collector to emitter now usually with voltage dividers you really don't want any current uh, being pulled out of it that will throw off the voltage but in this case it doesn't matter as long as we get to about 0.6 uh, volts doesn't matter if more current uh, flows if it pulls it away from there you know it's probably going to hold the voltage down but it doesn't matter we are either you know high enough to get it to conduct fully or low enough to turn it off uh, fully right there um, so we can accept uh, you know pretty much any leakage current that this is going to ask for um, and 15k right there it should turn it on uh, pretty much uh, fully when it is dark enough and the reason why is because it's like this doesn't exist anymore if it's dark enough there you can see we got a, a straight current path right there when this is conducting good enough because there's enough light it pulls the voltage to ground and uh, there's less than 0.6 volt uh, difference right there and it turns the transistor off so now whenever you learn about uh, voltages of a circuit you should really uh, measure those unless it's uh, really perfectly clear what uh, they're talking about then you know there's not much point to it other than experience uh, measuring voltages but in case uh, we'll take the red probe so it doesn't matter if I do the red alligator clip or the black one normally I try to do red to red though and then black to black just to uh, kind of uh, help keep track of uh, in this case this would be the, the common probe I set it into the common slot I could also put the red probe into the common slot but there's not much point point. Um, and uh, the red probe is the voltage in relationship to this common voltage so usually you put uh, the common voltage, the probe I should say, to uh, ground, and that's considered zero volts. And then this is the uh, voltage in relationship to that, which is about 0.5 volts higher right there. So we got about 0.5 volts at the base. As I said, we're going to need about 0.6 before the LED starts turning. I'm going to turn the lamp uh, to light a little bit better. There, we got even a little lower um, right there. Um, lamp is uh, kind of as far as the lamp can get, um, other than I just got a little bit closer. So I'm going to dim this. And uh, yeah, it looks like uh, first dimming now won't turn it on where it did before. But each time you see it get a little bit brighter, I dim the lamp a little bit uh, more. That's as uh, low as the lamp will go. Now we'll turn the light off, and there you can see we didn't really get any uh, more voltage rise. You know, just a, a tiny speck right there. So it's probably on fully at this point right there. We could discuss uh, the base two emitter current in relationship to this voltage basically it's like a kind of like a zener valve uh, zener diode like a release valve it's going to let current keep flowing to uh, maintain about 0.7 volts or less approximately and uh, so at lower currents 
you know it builds up a little bit less voltage but uh, you know it's still um, is limiting the uh, voltage that's going to be at the base right there no matter how dark uh, we get it you know so it's like a release valve more even if more current flows through it's going to reach a point where it doesn't increase in voltage any much anymore it's just going to let the current flow freely instead of building up a voltage so basic uh, bipolar junction transistor stuff that may have been confusing if you haven't studied them at all um, but uh, that's the basic property a little bit of base to emitter current allows many times the collector current the collector current also goes to the emitter the uh, two currents combine and uh, when you wire it as a switch then uh, when the transistor is on fully it's the load that is setting the current and thus you know the LED lights up too that's part of the load doesn't really set the current the resistor does but it drops some voltage so in a way it uh, controls a bit of the current otherwise the transistor this is less than 20 milliamps of current transistor probably will allow more than 20 milliamps of current based on the base to emitter current it's like a hundred times 200 times maybe 300 times whatever the base of uh, current is that's how much it will let through the rest of it maybe up to 300 times as much uh, current so you need uh, probably shoot for at least one percent of whatever the load current will be you want to get through the base 2 emitter so again pretty simple topic simple demonstration so I thought I would explain a little bit more so hope you enjoy make sure you check out one of the other videos I post on the screen and check out links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video